It is a great honor. I am such a big fan of the rescue work that you do. She is a hero, everybody. I, well, I don't know her. I love animals. I am very big into dog rescue, cat rescue. I have tried it. Um, it's not really for me. Okay. Uh, I rescued a cat about a month ago. Uh -huh. I found it, brought it inside, gave it milk, food. I actually put it on social media, found a home for it. That's, yeah. yeah. That's good, you rescued it. I did rescue it, and then my neighbor knocked on my door and was like, did you just put my cat on Instagram? <laughs> my God. Stray cats are sometimes just people's cats. Cats, yes. That are just like right. out running errands. Right, and you stuff. didn't think to ask anyone in the neighborhood if it was their cat first? No, I, would, I can't talk yeah. to my neighbors because they're crazy cat people. I so see, I, I understand. <laughs> but dog rescue, I can do. Did you rescue a dog I recently? I have five dogs, uh -huh. five rescue dogs, three of them. Thank you. I have found on the street. Oh yes, there they are. Those are three, my three pit bulls. You, you found them on the street? I found the, the two on the right, I found on the street. Because they're all over LA. I mean, they're everywhere. And I feel like nobody ever... Do you have a train that goes through your backyard? <laughs> is that... Is that a train? I live at Knott's Berry Farm. Wow. Uh, that's actually not my backyard, okay, but good. I wish it was. Oh, good. All right. So I end up finding dogs everywhere. In LA, there's a stray dog problem. Yes. I mean, they're all over the place. Yes, yeah. and especially pit bulls. Especially pit bulls. Yeah. And about two weeks ago, I was at this huge intersection in LA. It's called Hollywood and Highland. It's basically Times Square. It's like 10 different you know, lanes of traffic. And I see a dog in the middle of the intersection. And nobody's stopping. Nobody's stopping, so I pull over. I get out, of course, because I'm a hero. And <laughs> I have to like scream at people to stop driving, because they almost kill it like three times. People are driving past it. I get out, I stop all the lanes of traffic. It's like whack-a-mole. You have to stop one lane, get them to yeah. finally. You need I, a whistle. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I get everybody to stop. I get closer to the dog, and I see that it's a little tiny puppy. I get even closer to it, and I see that this little tiny puppy is a trash bag. <laughs> but I had been such a jerk to everybody that I couldn't like. Uh, oh my God, so you scooped I had to, I had to. <laughs> I just had to lean in, uh, yeah. scoop up this little trash bag. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, if you rescue enough dogs, it turns into an anti-litter yeah. initiative, yeah. basically. Because you just start seeing dogs everywhere. You get like, it's so paranoid, you That's know? That's hilarious. Yeah. I, so. I, I actually uh, tried to get a coyote in my car. I thought it, I, no one was stopping for nope. this dog in the road, and, I'm, and I was equally unhappy. And I, and I, try, I opened the door, and I'm calling it. <laughs> And it, it, it looked bad. It looked like it had been on the Skinny. street for a long time. And it wouldn't, it ran away from me. And I get home and someone said, hey, be careful, because there's a rabid coyote out there loose. And I'm like, I almost had that in my car. <laughs> like, almost got it. Um, so you were here for, uh, for the, when the book came out. Yes. And, and now it is an audio book. And I'm back to promote the audio book. I which like it. I think the reason it is worth um, promoting the fact that it's an audio book is because I, um, was very inspired and moved by the Me Too movement uh, to talk about sexual assault in my past. I wasn't ready to talk about it publicly because, you know, in our culture, sexual assault survivors are often shamed, you feel embarrassed. I personally couldn't talk about it, so I chose to write about it. But right. then I went in to record my audiobook and I realized, like, oh, I have to talk about this for the first time, and right. I had never done that before. Um, so I am proud that that is in the audio book. Was it very emotional? Because when you talk, it's a very different thing when you say the things. Yes, that's right. And I had never verbalized it before, and I found, found myself kind of, I'm, I'm even stuttering now, like tr making jokes and, and trying to like squirm out of the truth of it. But talking about it on the audio book was the first time I was really able to say it out loud and have it kind of crystallize, like that yeah. I'm a survivor. You know, I don't like to think of myself that way, but that doesn't mean you're weak. That doesn't mean you failed. That actually right. means you are way stronger than yes, you thought you exactly, were. Yes, exactly, exactly. Good for you.